all. Thanks for tuning in. This is Clayton representing AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Now, anyways, today I've got a brief overlook of the Samsung Galaxy S3 running the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean operating system. Now, I was able to flash a custom ROM to my rooted Samsung Galaxy S3 GTI 9300 international version. And this uh, custom ROM actually is the Jelly Bean operating system. Now, mind you, there are a lot of things that aren't working, including the uh, radios. Uh, you're not going to have any service, you won't have Wi-Fi, and then a lot of the native features of the uh, Android Jelly Bean operating system don't work. But it is cool to see the, this operating system getting ported over to many devices already. The Galaxy Nexus received it, the HTC One X received it, and the Galaxy S3 did as well. Okay, so right when we open her up, we have our Jelly Bean lock screen. We can touch our lock, either bring it up to the Google Now, to the left, to our camera, or we can unlock it. We have our cool little animation. Uh, with the burst coming out like that. We'll just unlock it regularly for now. As you see, we have our soft keys on screen even though the capacitive buttons are still present because this is right from a Galaxy Nexus dump. Um, anyways, the soft keys are functional. We can hold and drag up for the Google Now. We can go back and then we can actually access our recent apps by clicking the Recents window. Now anyways, as we scroll through, we can see it's preloaded exactly like the Galaxy Nexus is when it's running Jelly Bean. We have our uh, less transparent Google search bar up here. Our time uh, is displayed in the top right with our battery and our data. There is no data, mind you. We have our folders that are the exact same as the uh, Galaxy Nexus for Jelly Bean. And go to our app tray. Within the app tray, we do have all of the apps that come preloaded on the uh, Jelly Bean operating system. And this is still rooted. We do have our super user with updated binaries. Now anyways, if we go into the settings here, you can see that it's themed exactly like the AOSP Jelly Bean. Absolutely no touch whiz. Now we can't add any accounts or anything because there is no Wi-Fi. That is just not functional. Can't even turn it on. Uh, of course, that also means that we're not gonna be able to have NFC or the Android Beam functionality. But uh, we can manage our apps. We can disable which apps actually uh, show us notification in the notification bar. But a lot of these native features for Jelly Bean are just kind of going to be uh, redundant unless we get the radios working. Anyways, we go down to the About Phone. We will verify we are in fact running the 4.1 Jelly Bean. And I will go back really quick. You can see here we have the GTI 9300 model. But we will just access our Easter egg. We have the Jelly Bean. And with all of our little beans, sweep them away and whatnot. Go back. Now we can still use the uh, physical buttons. The home button still works. And uh, when you hold it, it still does bring up the recent apps. But uh, we'll just show you here how the Google Now uh, does not work. You drag it up like that. And then uh, unfortunately, Google search has stopped. We can't access the voice control if we go to the uh, voice search here. You see it, it began to initialize, but then it quit. Uh, so that doesn't work. Our Wi-Fi doesn't work. We will test our camera really quick. We don't have camera, as you can see there. Uh, from the lock screen, we'll try the Google Now. And it stopped. So a lot of the functionality is missing, but it's really awesome if you guys want to just give it a try on your uh, Galaxy S3. It is Jelly Bean. You can impress your friends. Um, you can actually check out how the interface is set up because this does nothing bad to your device. You can flash it, then you can actually just uh, you know flash it right back to another ROM or to the stock firmware. And stay tuned with AndroidAuthority.com, guys. We're going to be bringing you everything you want Android-related.